Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. So today we're going to be doing the Sunday Reset. Now this reset includes everything that needs to get done before the start of a new week. And this is also going to include my daily routine of washing the sheets every Sunday. And some of these tasks I didn't complete in this week's routines. So basically I'm just tying up loose ends so that way I can start the new week out fresh. So today I'm also going to be showing you an affordable robot vacuum. I know that these tools can be very expensive, so I was hoping that I could find one that was more affordable and that you can add into your cleaning tools. Now robots are not a necessity, I know that, but they sure do help to save time. While you're focused on other areas of your home, your robot vacuum can be maintaining your floors. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw the afghan over the end of the bed and then I'll fold up the quilt and um, fold that over the end of the bed so that I can get the sheets off. Now with my um, bedding, the quilt, things like that, I wash that about every three months. Um, in the summer we use that lighter blanket um, so everything gets thrown at the end of the bed kind of like what you see right here. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take these sheets off the bed. We're going to go and give them a good wash. Um, I'm also going to throw um, that other blanket in with it since we do use that. Um, I like to be sure that the sheets are washed every week, especially pillowcases. Um, you know, if you don't want to wash your sheets every, every week, definitely do the pillowcases because, you know, that's where all the germs sit from our face and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give everything a good wash. Um, I'm not adding bleach in it today because I do have that blanket in it. By the way, that blanket is a cooling blanket. Um, it stays nice and cool at night so that you don't get overheated. If you're going through perimenopause, you know what I mean about getting overheated. So that blanket is perfect for me. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and grab this basket of clothes and um, we're going to get these all folded up and put away. Um, I also have a couple of other baskets that are sitting next to me by that wall um, that have some things hung over the top of it and I need to get that put away. So I neglected doing my laundry the way that I like to do my laundry a little bit every day and I just went ahead and did everything yesterday and a little bit today. The basket that you see right there is from today. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and get everything folded up. Now I don't just throw my clothes in the basket. Everything is laying over the edge or um, nicely laid in there so that they don't get wrinkled. And then my other baskets, I have them hanging over the edge of the basket. And because um, I just do not want things to get all wrinkled and, and all that. So anyways, okay, these are my towels. I'm going to go ahead and get these um, restocked in here. I already have some in the little heating thing that I showed last week that my daughters bought me um, that, you know, keep the towels nice and warm. I already have some there. I'm going to go ahead and put my um, face cloths into the spa cart. Um, you guys were really liking that spa cart from last week's video. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it um, at the end of this video so you can go see it. It shows everything that I put into that spa cart. So, all right, so let's go ahead and just keep getting busy. I'm going to um, fold all the clothes. If you can see, I fold like in a, in a, um, you know, up and down. What would that be called? I fold it where it's file folded. And I'll show you here in a minute what that means um, when I put them in the drawer. Um, that way everything fits nicely and I can see everything. Instead of it being stacked on top of each other, they're like file folded so I can see the tops of them. Um, I like to do it this way. Everything is nice and orderly in there and I can see exactly what I have without moving things around. Um, also, I bought some new pajamas. I'm trying to re um, stock and get rid of things in my pajama drawer that I'm either no longer wearing or they should no longer be worn, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I'm going to, um, you know, put my new pajamas in there. Um, I got them washed. Now it's time to put them in there. Okay, so this is a quick view of my top drawer. This is where I have all of my pajamas. To the left are my Christmas pajamas, and then I have my new ones sitting right here, and I've gotten rid of some old ones. Right here is where I keep all of my shorts. I like them to be nice and file folded. As you can see, I can see the tops of everything that's in there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hang up all of the clothes, put away Michael's socks, and then um, we will be ready to go to the next task. So remember last week I was having to... Um, come into the song right in the middle of the song and do a voiceover over the song because there were some cuss words in there. 
well, I found some music today that um, surely will not have the cuss words and it's perfect for the Sunday reset. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Caught in every moment I see the sun on your face Hopeful eyes keep them glowing yeah. I love you more than words could say So now I'm heading to the bathroom and I'm going to go ahead and wash my bras in this glamorous wash. This is the Diva scent. I absolutely love it. I do this, you know, on my night clothes. I also do it, you know, in my undergarments and I also um, put some in a bottle and I'll spray my curtains with it. It smells heavenly and you do not need a lot. You can use it as detergent in the rest of your clothes. But I mix my clothes with Michael's and I don't think he would appreciate smelling like um, Diva Wash. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, soak my bras in here and allow them to get nice and clean. Then I'll rinse them out and hang them out um, to dry here in just a little bit. I like to let them sit in this for just a little bit. Believe your side, even in the change, they might walk away. But I promise I'll stay. Wasn't that a beautiful song? I'm so glad that I was able to find some Christian music on the app that I have to use um, to put music into my videos. It has to be copyright free. And um, I did find a Christian section. Now, it doesn't have a lot of music there, but it does have some. So I thought that would be nice to put here on a Sunday um, reset video. Um, and I'm just so happy that I have this option. So I washed and folded all these pool towels last night. These are the towels that we use this weekend. Um, grandkids came over to go swimming, things like that. So getting everything washed and reset for the week, just in case if anybody wants to come over before it starts cooling off. I have been on the hunt for an affordable robot vacuum that I can show here on my channel. And here he is. This is the Ticom L8000. Now I often say if there's any one tool that helps me the most in daily maintenance, it would be my robot vacuum cleaner. And a bonus, this one also comes with a mop feature. Okay, let's get to know my new maintenance man that I've named Tommy. It comes with an app that has several capabilities. Now, after I started him up and he mapped my whole house, I can now direct Tommy to clean any area 
in my house. Like right here, I'm pressing for my bedroom and my bathroom, and it will go straight and it'll clean those areas. And it even has an option if you just want it to spot clean. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that there's a dirty spot right there in front of the kids' blocks and their little toy place. We're gonna come here and we're gonna find that on the map, which would be about right in here. And I'm going to push spot right here. And then I'm going to push right over there. And then it is going to make a little square around it and it's gonna clean that whole area. Just push go. You can hear it's not very loud. I have it on medium right now. And it's just going to clean that area. Makes like a big square around it and it'll clean that area. Okay, so I went ahead and I sped the footage up. I want you to see that it's going to set a square perimeter. And then once it gets the area, that square done, then it's gonna go in there and it's going to vacuum back and forth. Now you can also do this with the mopping feature. So if you have a certain area that needs to be mopped, go ahead and set the area and it will mop that area. So I think that's awesome. Now, once he's done here, I'm also going to have him go into the bedroom so you can see how well it works on the carpet. Okay, he's gonna dock. And let me go ahead and show you what all is in the box before we head there into the bedroom. Okay, so in the box, you're going to get this quick start um, card. This is a large card, okay? But it's good for me to see with my bad eyes. Anyways, um, this is all I needed to quickly set up my vacuum. It connected to my Wi-Fi and it totally mapped my whole house. Now, if you have any further questions, you can come to the owner's manual and this has everything in it. Now, by the way, this thing also links up to your Alexa or your Google. So that's awesome, okay? So in it, you're also gonna get the mop attachment and then you're gonna get two um, mop pads. You're going to get an extra filter. You're going to get um, a side brush. This is an extra side brush. All right, and then you're also going to get some zip ties so that you can um, tie up any loose wires. All right, now that the sheets are in the dryer, I'm gonna go ahead and have Tommy come here in the bedroom and vacuum the bedroom for me. Okay, so as you can see, he immediately goes around the perimeter. So he basically vacuums the way that I tell you to mop. Go around the perimeter first and then do the center. Right, so he's going around the perimeter, going underneath all the furniture. He does not go underneath my bed, thank goodness, because my other robot vacuum does and constantly gets stuck. Okay, and then once he gets the whole perimeter done, you see he's going underneath the things, he going by the baseboards, all the things, then he's gonna go ahead and he's going to go back and forth and back and forth and he's going to clean the center of that area. I love this. Here's the amount of dust and fur that he was able to get out of the carpet. Look at that, amazing, huh? Okay, so now I'm gonna dump it and then I'm gonna show you how to use the mop feature. Okay, now it's empty. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill this up with some water. You don't wanna put any cleaners in it or anything like that. Just put some regular tap water in there. And just to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and wet this mop pad. You can see how well it sticks to this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wet that. Just to get it started, you have a nice wet pad on there. Here. And it sticks around to the other side as well. And then this just snaps right onto here. So I went ahead and I set a spot clean right here for this area. And as you can see, it does a great job at cleaning the area um, quickly, efficiently, and um, thoroughly. So if you're looking for an affordable robot vacuum with the added feature of the mopping, the TICCOM L8000 fits that bill. Now I've added the link below for you to go check out. And I wanna thank TICCOM for sending me this vacuum so that I can show it to my subscribers. Okay, so it's time to vacuum the big hairy beast. 
this is all of grace and um, I have a vacuum attachment that um, attaches right to my Bissell vacuum. Now you can buy this attachment with its own vacuum, um, which would be very handy. That way it's all in one thing and you're not having to pull out two parts. However, I got the one that, that can attach to my Bissell. It also attaches to other vacuums. It's got a connector that is universal that can go on to different um, vacuums. Anyways, this is the softer brush of the two. Um, she likes this brush. Um, it actually makes her very feisty and you'll see here in a little bit she gets feisty. In fact, every time you see a cut in the video, it's because she's gotten feisty and she starts running around and then she comes right back to me. But I'll show you a snippet of that here in a second. Anyways, this brush also comes with one of those um, fur ones. Um, it's a de-shedder and it's um, much more rough. She does not appreciate that one as much as she does this one. Um, so it's going to take me longer to get her um, undercoat pulled out with this one. Um, but I do it often enough that um, I've gotten the majority of the undercoat out. Now you will see she does get little tufts of hair. I pull them out every now and then if I cannot um, get the, the brush to pull it out because it's not strong enough. But she does get little tufts of fur that you'll see me pull. It doesn't hurt her. It's just an undercoat. And... Um, and then I just suck it up into the vacuum, but I'm giving her some on her belly. Um, and I go ahead and I take the bristles and I bring the bristles in. This is only vacuuming her. She likes this um, with just the vacuum and not the, the bristles, um, especially down there, you know, where she's not being ladylike. See, there's some of that tough. And there's her feistiness. She's such a sweet girl. Watch, she's going to give me a kiss in here in just a minute. She reaches her nose up because she wants a kiss. Oh, I love this girl. She is such a blessing to our family. Do you have a family pet that you just absolutely love? This one's my Olive Grace and my kitty cat is um, Jenny. She's 22 years old and I love them. Anyways, okay, done with that. Now I'm going to get in here into the kitchen. I need to get um, some dishes done, get the counters cleaned. Um, and I've got groceries coming, so I need to get my refrigerator cleaned out.
so before the groceries get here, I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out of the refrigerator. I want to wipe down the um, countertops or the refrigerator tops. Anyways, the shelves, that's it, the refrigerator shelves. And, um, you know, get rid of the things that we no longer need, no longer are using or might be out of date. Um, so let's get in here and let's get all this stuff out so I can get this all cleaned up. Michael went to go pick up the groceries for me, so he's going to be here in just a minute um, so I can refill this refrigerator. The preacher said I would never give more than I could handle on my own. But I don't know if I believe that to be true. Because there have been some times when I've been all alone. And wanted to give up, but you held me stand. Yeah. God, He used you, shined right through you in ways you will never know. So many ways that you'll never know. Mountain mover. Faith that I'll never know. No, you had a faith that I'll never know. You prayed away rainy days, even kept a smile if they stayed. Cause either way, you stood on the rock and not on the sand. Your sweet memories of all the little things you did to show me love And you helped me stand Yeah God, He used you Shined right through you In ways you will never know So many ways that you'll never know Faith that I'll never know. Yeah, you had a faith that I'll never know. Mm -hmm. Kings will rise and fall, bending for the fame. And seasons come and go, and time will bring some pain. But if there's one thing that I know. You will always remain the same What a song. That song really touches me. Um, do you have anybody in your life that um, stands out in your mind that you know um, was there for you through thick and thin, through a really hard time? You depended on them and you really feel like God brought them into your life um, to help you with this situation. I have um, two or three of those in my life that um, really stand out. Um, you know, if you don't know my story, I talk about it all the time over on Instagram, but I was injured by um, a medication that was prescribed to me and it took several years for me to recover from it. Um, and I had some 
two or three people that I really depended on for their prayers, um, for their encouragement that I could make it. So let me know down in the comments. Um, do you have a name of someone that you would like to share with me um, uh, of how they stood by you when you were going through a really tough time? feeling clearer the moments are realer a weight off my shoulder let me touch the sky i'm seeing color i'm living in wonder i'm right here now i'm gonna dance in the light i'm gonna shout out for joy i'm gonna live out this life like i never had before i'm gonna take every wish that they would label the expiration dates just a little bit bigger for us older folks to be able to read it. Um, I'm constantly searching on there trying to find a date. Um, I really don't want to keep food that's out of date and sometimes that does happen only because I can't see it clearly. So anyways um, I'm going to go ahead and keep looking for dates um, and really search for them this time just to be sure that I'm getting rid of the things that um, are truly out of date and some of these really were and I do this often but again if I can't see it sometimes I err on the side of um, it's good and I probably should err on the side of it's bad anyways um, I'm going to continue to do this um, I'm getting things out of the side doors and um, moving things around to make it uh, make sense a little more sense and over here on this other door I have all these little packets that I've been saving from Chick-fil-A, from um, Whataburger, um, you know, their sauces and ketchups and things like that. And they haven't been used, so I'm going to go ahead and throw them away. And I'm going to, um, you know, save the space for something else that we might um, can use in these little smaller um, shelves here. They don't hold really big things, so um, 
it's got to be very specific of something that can fit there. Sometimes I'll do spices um, that need to be cold. Um, I'll put spices up there, things like that, but just something that's small enough that can fit in there. Um, again, I'm going to continue just to check for the dates and then we're going to get in the drawer. That's where I keep a lot of the kids' snacks and our cheeses and things like that. Shining from the window late at night I'm just watching someone else's life go by Wishing it was mine I mean, honestly, how much cheese does one family need, especially when you're a family of two in this house? But anyways, I do have a lot of grandkids that come over and they do eat cheese sandwiches or grilled cheese sandwiches, things like that. So, and the string cheese. And then I have like little um, square cheese that you individually open up, you know, um, and they like those. But there's a lot of other cheese in there that um, I've just repurchased because I didn't know I have it. And that's what happens when you don't, you know, um, keep your refrigerator tidy and get in there and really look and see what you need before you go to the grocery store. So lesson learned, although I say that all the time, but anyways, lesson learned a third, fourth or fifth time that I need to be checking what I have before I repurchase. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the counters cleaned off. I need to get the dishes out of the dishwasher. Um, and then I am going to go ahead and get the groceries so I can refill the refrigerator with the new groceries. Morning has broken, my windows are open. Wanna feel the wind blow through my hair. Which way do I follow? What happens tomorrow? I turn to you and hope you. 
you can guide the way Sometimes I give up, just wanna be on my own Even in the darkest times, you give me hope So So I got that done just enough time for Michael to show up with the groceries. So he's going to go ahead and bring those in. I need to run to the back room real quick. And then um, I'm going to unpackage these groceries. And soon we're going to be getting back into the bedroom so that I can get the sheets put back on the bed.
ahead and grab another one of those bags and I'm just going to go ahead and fill the bag with the um, jars and the ketchup and the mustard. We're going to be going to the Guadalupe River um, this weekend for Memorial Day weekend and we're going to go tubing and we're going to have some hot dogs and things like that on the fire pit. So I'm just going to go ahead and save that and take that with me. We're also going to have chicken and some rice tonight for dinner. But before I do that, I want to get into the bedroom and get the sheets put back on the bed. Now look at those nice lines. Ooh, I love me a nice vacuum line, especially one that I don't have to do myself. Right, ladies? But look at that. Very nice. Okay, let's get the sheets back on the bed. I can feel there is somebody here And he's watching over me tonight As he takes away my fears Let's me know there's a heaven up there Yeah, he's reaching out his hand to me To wash away my tears Oh, oh I know you And I praise you got my arms open for your love so this blanket got all twisted up and um, I thought that there was one of the pillow covers in there so I was determined to get it open however I end up counting the pillow covers and I have all of the pillow covers that I need so this is only the blanket and it is completely tied in a knot I'm definitely going to need Michael's help to get it undone so it's not going back on the bed for tonight I hear angels from up above They sing hallelujah They sing hallelujah I can see though my eyes are all closed yeah, he gives me strength to carry on and always lets me know that I'm fine just the way he made me. Every perfect imperfection is all because of him. Oh, oh I know you and I praise you. Got my arms open for your love. Sing hallelujah. Oh. They sing takes away my fears oh, oh I know you and I praise you look at this cute pillow that Bethany got me from an antique store it's just got so much character it's quilted it's got some needlepoint on it and I absolutely love it for some reason I absolutely love birds I never knew that I love birds but I find birds all throughout my decor so obviously I love birds and look at the back of it isn't that beautiful yeah, I'm so happy that she found this. Um, I absolutely love it right here on my bed. Be near you. I hear angels from up above. They sing hallelujah. They sing hallelujah. I 
can see you far and wide across the ocean above the clouds in your presence I am free I hear your whisper through the no place that I would rather be So let this moment last Okay friends, if you like this video, would you please give me a big thumbs up? And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. Down below, you're going to find that link for TICOM's affordable robot vacuum. Currently, the price is under $150, and it's surely going to become one of your favorite cleaning tools. And when you get him in and you name him, let me know what you've named him, okay? Now, I'll see you again in next Sunday's video. Until then, stay blessed, my friends. can feel